Hello everyone, this is Lestat Baxter of Lestat Productions. I would like to take a few minutes here to show you how to run the Lestat Productions contest board. First thing you do, obviously, is want to resident world and right click and choose edit to bring up your build window. Navigate to the content tab. Open up the config note card. And now you're going to notice you have some settings here. Make sure you don't add or remove lines. Make sure you modify only what's after the um, equal sign after every single uh, setting here. So you'll notice this first setting is the board name. And right now I have it set to the Stat Productions Contest Board Elite, so that's what's going to show up in the very top display of the board. You have your access, public, or group. That is obviously who can join the board um, when you open a contest. And you have the volume. Right now it's set to shout, which you can change that to whisper, say, shout, or off. That is how loud it will announce the new contestants when they join the contest. You have your default text color in RGB format. You have the page timer. This is how long it will display each page of avatars before switching to the next if there's more than six avatars that have joined the contest. You have your winners, which can be set to zero for even split. Even split means each avatar that has joined the contest, as long as they have a vote, it will divide the prize up between everybody that's been voted for and give them a certain percentage depending on how many votes they've received. So the person with the highest amount of votes gets the highest piece of the pie. So then your next option after after winners, you can well you can set it to one or three or zero. Zero being even split, one being the first, three being top three. And if you set it to top three, then the following setting is where you would uh, set the top three percent. So right here. The first person gets 50, second person gets 35, third person gets 15. You can change that to however you like. Just make sure that all three numbers, they must add up to 100%. If you're having an issue, just double check that they do add to 100. Set, the next setting here is pay to join. Right now it's set to zero, so that means it's free. But if you want to set it to a specific amount, you put a money symbol, and then you can put in any price that you want. If you set it to 100, that's easy to explain the next setting because the next setting is your commission percent that the uh, house or the club would keep out of the pay to join price. So right now that I've got it set to 20%, you would keep 20% of that and you would donate the other $80 to the winner, to the prize, to the pot, how much it's going to give you know the winner after the contest is closed. So we're going to go ahead and set this back to zero and like I said, make sure you have a money symbol in front of that if you wish to use it. So then we have default prize, and default prize can be a money value, and if you do, again, put the money symbol first, and I'm going to put $100. That right there would make it to where when a manager started the contest, no matter what, every contest is going to start with a $100 prize. Let's take that down, and you can also put an object name here. So if you have an object, and you've dragged it from your inventory and dropped it in the contents, you can put that name of that object right here and it will give them that prize when they win and again that will only give the first place winner that prize so then go on to block managers yes or no if you set it to yes managers will not be allowed to join the contest if you set it to no managers will be allowed to join the contest the next setting is your auto remove setting so if people have joined the contest and then leave the sim if it's set to yes, they will automatically be removed. If it's set to no, they can stay on it. Then the next two settings are your anti-bot, anti-AFK security system that's integrated in the contest board. If you have this one set to 20, like I do now, every 20 minutes, it's going to ask them um, if they're still here, pretty much. And if they say yes or no, <laughs> they're, they're okay. If they say ignore, ignore is not the button they want to click and then you have your security remove time and this is obviously how long they have to click one of the options when the menu comes their way and like I said if they click ignore or don't respond they will be removed from the contest board so after you've saved or done all your settings you want to save it and I'm not going to I want to stick with the settings I already have and then we have your manager list your manager list you'll notice at the top leave this intact you must start adding names underneath this line and each name goes on its own separate line and you'll notice these are all real Second Life names these are names that you used when you created your account even if you created a new account you will obviously have to include your last name so it would be resident 
um, do not use display names here. Display names will not work. So after you've set your board up, you want to click Manage, and you want to go ahead and look at the settings uh, menu here, and it will tell you your, your normal settings right here. Right now this is the event name. That's by default. Um, to change that, you would click Event Name, and it tells you down here what channel, channel to type on. So we're going to go ahead and change it. And now you'll notice that it says event name was set to Sexiest Avatar. So we're good to go there. Just click Manage again. Go back to our settings. You're going to notice that you can change the pay price. This is pay to join. You would do the same thing by typing a channel and then the number of the pay price. We're not going to set that. So let's go back into settings here. Um, you have win mode where the manager or you via menu can set it to 3, 1, or split. If this button says group, then right now it's set to public, and to change it to group, you would click that button. And now you'll notice it says public, so to change it back to public, we'll click public. Then you have a load config button to force uh, the config code, note card to be reloaded, just in case SL has its little hiccups like we know it does. Then you have a texture button. You can have a texture menu and change uh, from one of these nine different preloaded texture colors. You, you have a text color. It has the same type of menu, and you can change the default text that shows up in here, what color it is. Then you have the event name that we've already showed you. You have volume. You can change it from whisper, say, or shout. And then you obviously have the main button where you can go back to the main. So after we've done that, we do want to come back to the main after all the settings are done and click start. Now when you click start, obviously the join button is green. People can join the contest. Just go ahead and I'm going to join it and have my tester guy join it too. So once people have joined the board, now a manager or you can go ahead and click their name. And if you don't want them to be on there, you can remove their name. And there they're gone. Let's get them back on there. Um, you also want to remember too, if you did not set a default prize inside the config note card, that you or a manager or anybody for that matter is going to want to pay the board the prize amount. So once we've paid the board the prize amount, give everything time to res in here, um, you're going to want to click manage and open voting when everything's done. And I'll notice it says vote now. And now if I wanted to vote for the stat productions tester guy, I could click his name and still you obviously have the option to remove him, but I'm going to vote for him. Um, a normal person that is not on the manager list, one of your patrons, uh, it'll automatically vote for them. They obviously don't get this menu here. So you click vote, and now it'll tell you, you know, who you voted for, and it's been counted. Now say you accidentally clicked on the wrong name. Say you wanted to vote maybe for somebody that was underneath here. So you can click the name again, and cast another vote, and it will actually revoke your vote and let you vote again. But obviously we're the only two on here. It's not going to let me vote for myself. So I'm going to have to vote for this guy. So after I vote for him, one of your managers can click the button again, and they'll get a different menu with back and next buttons. The back and next buttons, if there's multiple pages, meaning there's more than six avatars that have joined your contest, and you have uh, one of two, three, four, etc., um, they'll be able to click back and next to navigate to the different pages. Um, they can close voting. Um, if they close voting, that pretty much means that voting is closed, and people can join the board again. Voting back up. And now you're going to have the end, which end will pick a winner. And if they click votes, this votes button is kind of neat because it will arrange from uh, high to low how many people are on the board and how many votes each one of them has. So after it's all said and done with and you're ready to go, you can click end. And there it goes. It has went ahead and paid the winner the money, and it has ended the contest. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.